Hi, this is Mike. I'm reading Robert Alter's translation of Exodus chapter 18. And Jethro, priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard all that God had done for Moses and for Israel, his people, that Yahweh had brought Israel out of Egypt. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Zipporah, Moses' wife, after her being sent away, and her two sons, one of whom was named Gershom, for he said, A sojourner I have been in a foreign land. And the other was named Eliezer. For the God of my fathers was my aid and rescued me from Pharaoh's sword. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, and his sons and his wife with him, came to Moses, to the wilderness in which he was encamped, the mountain of God. And he said to Moses, I, your father-in-law Jethro, am coming to you and your wife, and her two sons with her. And Moses went out to meet his father-in-law, and he bowed down and kissed him. And each of them asked of the other's well-being, and they went into the tent. And Moses recounted to his father-in-law all that Yahweh had done to Pharaoh and to Egypt for the sake of Israel, all the hardship that had come upon them on the way, and Yahweh had rescued them. And Jethro exulted over all the bounty that Yahweh had done for Israel, and he rescued them from the hand of Egypt. And Jethro said, Blessed is Yahweh, who has rescued you from the hand of Egypt and from the hand of Pharaoh, who rescued the people from under the hand of Egypt. Now I know that Yahweh is greater than all the gods, for in this thing, thing that they schemed against them. And Jethro Moses' father-in-law took a burnt offering and sacrifices for God. And Aaron came, and all the elders of Israel with him, to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. And it happened on the next day that Moses sat to judge the people. And the people stood over Moses from the morning till the evening. And Moses' father-in-law saw all that he was doing for the people, and he said, what is this thing that you are doing for the people? Why are you sitting alone while all the people are poised over you from morning till evening? And Moses said to his father-in-law, For the people come to me to inquire of God. When they have some matter, it comes to me, and I judge between a man and his fellow, and I make known God's statutes and his teachings. And Moses' father-in-law said to him, The thing that you are doing is not good. You will surely wear yourself out, both you and this people that is with you, for the thing is too heavy for you. You will not be able to do it alone. Now heed my voice. I shall give you counsel, and may God be with you. Be you for the people over against God, and it shall be you who will bring the matters to God. And you shall warn them concerning the statutes and the teachings, and you shall make known to them the way in which they must go, and the deed which they must do. As for you, you, you shall search out from all the people able, God-fearing men, truthful men, haters of bribes, and you shall put over them chiefs of thousands, chiefs of hundreds, chiefs of fifties, and chiefs of tens. And they shall judge the people at all times." And so every great matter they shall bring to you, and every small matter they themselves shall judge. And it will lighten from upon you, and they will bear it with you. If you will do this thing, God will charge you, and you will be able to stand. And also all this people will come to its place in peace. And Moses heeded the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men from all Israel, and he set them as heads over the people, chiefs of thousands, chiefs of hundreds, chiefs of fifties, and chiefs of tens. And they judged the people at all times. The hard matters they would bring to Moses, and every small matter they themselves would judge. And Moses sent off his father-in-law, and he went away to his land.